Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. Guys, I don't take you shopping with me a lot and when I do, you know it's usually worth it. Today, I'm gonna bring you on an estate sale where this lady has so many different type of collections I don't even know the value of some of the stuff. So I'll need you guys to keep an eye out. First things first, let's let's give you some facts about the estate sale. One, the lady is still living. Two, she had an estate sale 15 years ago to get rid of most of her collection. So this um, pile up of a collection is about 15 years of shopping. Three, she's downsizing to her smaller house and her daughter said she has to get rid of most of her stuff. So this isn't even the stuff she's keeping. This is just her extra. She has a bunch of stuff that she's keeping. And four, the first day of the sale was crazy, 100% price. Second day was 25% off. Third day, which is today, was 50% off. And I have a fun haul to share with you at the end of the video. And then this is what I need you to look out for. Tomorrow, Saturday morning, they are having an auction and everything that she has for sale will be sold. So I am going to try to go back tomorrow and here's what I need you guys to do. I don't know what half of these collections are. So if you guys see some stuff in here um, that I need to go back for, just let me know in the comments below and let's get shopping. So the first day was a nice foggy, foggy day, but I just wanted to show you we arrived at 9.20 and it started at 9 o'clock. And yes, I brought the little two with me because daddy was not working from home that day. But I had to see what the sale was all about. We had a rule where they had to hold their own hands to not touch things. Um, and they did a really good job. But this place was so packed. And I am going to do the best I can to move quickly through the stuff but not so quickly that you can't see the stuff but i didn't want this to turn into like it could have been a 45 minute video guys this was a two-story house with a finished basement and every single room was just jam-packed with stuff from floor to ceiling and the ladies who went through this said this is how it was like when they got there like she didn't have anything in boxes she had everything out to enjoy stuff but as you can see, she enjoyed a lot of different collections. So such beautiful things. And the furniture, oh, the furniture was so pretty. You can see when I try to put this down, like this is how full it was. Like he took my spot. Anyway, um, so many things here, so much beautiful pottery. And quite honestly, the pictures of the pottery and the croc stuff is really what got me there in the first place. I did miss out on the main pieces of Crocs that I was going to get. Um, and I will show them to you in this video, but I have to like admit that I did miss out on those just because I wasn't there at 9 a.m. But it was an interesting sale nonetheless to just see the amount of things collected. Look at that beauty. Um, I just can't imagine, like I collect things, I just can't imagine collecting so many types of things. So what I'm going to attempt to do is let you guys do some shopping, um, put some music on. Again, if there's stuff that you guys see that I need to go back on the last day to grab, please let me know in the comments below. Some of it is already gone or I already brought home with me. You will see the haul at the end of the shopping. But um, let me know what you guys think and enjoy.
I know that was a lot of footage, but there were so many collections. There were three stories, the basement was finished. She did not have anything boxed up. All this stuff was out on display. The people that got ready for the sale got a little bit um, ill from the extra dust. So um, I'm just gonna start and in no particular order, show you my haul. I spent $190, however, $25 of it was my kids' stuff. You can guess from that video what they got, right? So the first thing I got was this beautiful picture. It was labeled as $10 and I spent $5 for it. There is a little stamp on the bottom that says 1868. Um, and it has some A little bit of glaze um, bubbles which I thought was really cute I'm gonna probably put some floral on this and put this in my booth but thought five dollars I kept passing it I'm like why don't I pick that up so I did why don't you hand me that the next thing is I have been on the lookout for crocs that has just been I, I keep wanting to find crocs in the wild there are some things there that I definitely missed out on for by waiting and for not getting there. But this was seven, it was $15, so $7.50. It's super heavy. It has a little crack on the back, but this one was gonna be for me. Um, may put um, one of the crockery stamps or a crockery transfer on this. I don't know, it depends on where I'm gonna use this in my home, but I've really always wanted a nice white one and this is nice and heavy, so this is for me. you know with how I touched this in the video. I got this. This was $15, so it was $7.50. I just thought it was beautiful. There are no markings on the bottom, but apparently I am drawn to the blue stripes. The next thing, and if I was like two minutes later, I would have lost on that, out on this. This was $40, or this was, this was $45. Piper, what is the math on that? $22.50. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about that one. Next, <laughs> you see the theme. This was $8, so I got it for four. Thought it was super cute. Wouldn't it be cute with like a little plant or something in it? So cute. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> I've never gotten like legit Crocs, so I'm excited about this. This it was a butter turner without the stick. It was $87. Look how big it is. There's no cracks in it, nothing. It is going to live in my house for a while. Isn't it $43.50? $43.50. It is gonna live in my house until I'm sick of it, which I don't know if I will be. Um, and then I could sell it easily for double that. I'm really excited about some of these Crocs, guys. These pillows were $5 a piece, so I got them for two for $5. That's going to my booth. Somebody's gonna love these. Okay, so this is one of the things that got me to the estate sale. I missed out on one of these big bowls um, at a thrift store once. It was $10 and someone got it in her cart and I told her how beautiful it was and can't believe that I missed it. So I wanna say that it is a McCoy. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Wait, it says Ovenware USA. I know some of them have said McCoy with this particular design, but these two, um, they were marked as $60, so I got these two for $30. And then these two, which appear to be a little bit, it's a similar design, but I don't think it's the same, right? So it's 30 for a set of two, so I got two for 15. But I loved all of them together. I've got girls. These are staying with me and I plan on displaying them, using them if I can. 
so excited. The next thing I got, um, I have sold these little table runners or what are they called? Furniture scarves for in the $18 range, right? There was a whole basket of them. I only picked up two. They were $2.50 a piece once with the discount. I feel like I could sell them between 18 and maybe $22 my booth. I've sold one for 18 before and it sold pretty quickly. So maybe I can go up a little bit. This is something, well, this is a little bit smaller. Didn't realize it. But this is something that tomorrow, um, there is a whole basket of these, as you remember from the video. I might be a bidder on that basket because he said he's gonna be like, everything on this table and start bidding. So that's gonna kind of be how tomorrow works. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for these because I know per piece you can sell them pretty well. Y'all let me know in the comments below, is there something that I missed in these videos that I really need to consider bidding on tomorrow for sale specifically in my booth? The stuff I wanna personally came home with me, right? But if there's, some, if there's stuff that you believe fits my style and I'd have a really good profit on, um, let me know in the comments below so I can make sure I bid on that tomorrow at the auction. Last but not least. Oh, do you want to show it? All right, next I'm going to have my lovely Hadley. Come on, stand up. No, come stand up and show it. My lovely Hadley, bring it up close to the camera. She loves all things little. And this was $5. Listen, they originally wanted 20, wait, pull back a little bit. They originally wanted 20 for it because it's colored glass, but they also wanted 20 for the big ones. So I ended up getting it today for $5. Look how cute that little purple lamb is. And then look at this one. <laughs> That's so cute. Little bunny, this was also $5. As you can see from the cute little faces that somebody's making, they're not going to my booth yet. Maybe when they grow up. <gasps> Do you see this look she's giving me? <laughs> That's what happens when you bring your kids. They buy things, right? Speaking of kids buying things, should we show them the big thing? What big thing? Camden, are you going to come help with this? Maybe my birthday present. No, this isn't your birthday present. This is, oh, I can't believe I let this many things come into my house when in the doll arena. And ironically, look, that was in the basket too. So this whole doll basket was originally $50. The whole doll basket was originally $50. And yesterday we were there and we we're like, okay, it'd be $37.50 today. Or do we wait one more day when it could be $25? I, I want to help. Okay, so we waited and it paid off. What are you going to show me? First things first, bless you. Okay. First things first. Oh yeah, see there are two more things. Look, look at the, there are two more things. <laughs> this is chaos. We got a lot of dolls. <laughs> Bless you. Don't show the naked ones. Okay, hold on. Or you'll get demonetized. This is a lot of hair that is a mess. I can brush it. <laughs> I can brush some. But like this lady, she could probably, she could probably be redeemed. Yeah, I know. She's my favorite. There's enough in here that can be redeemed. I'm Why just saying. Me? Okay, I'm. <laughs> this is our first Ken doll. No, that's not even a Ken doll. That's a Ryan doll. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a Ryan doll. We have a Ken doll. Guys, Piper. Um, we have a. Oh, she's cute. Look at she, her hair's not bad. I mean, look. Oh gosh, <laughs> bathing suits. All right, put all the things in here. Look. Oh, look what else we have. Something. This is my life. All right. This is really the reason that they were excited. <laughs> there's and so many, there's two little bikes. This is full of clothes. Oh, and the little doggy. Yes. And the little doggy. And oh, meowing. And there was something in here meowing. Uh, you should call me. Okay, so this is full of clothes. 
And then... Where was something that was... Stop. And then another thing full of these little accessories. Listen, they've been working hard this summer and this is the way they wanted to spend their money. I also bought this the first day because they were a dollar a piece and they weren't gonna be discounting anything that was a dollar a piece and wanted to make some more projects out of this. Possibly since these are nice and little, some little Christmas ornaments. <laughs> All right, what do you want to tell them, Cam? Yeah, tell us, come here. Thanks for watching. Come here, Camden. Come here. What do you want to say? Come here, scoot down. I, I just want to see the camera. All right, Let's tell the camera, say, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. What else do they need to do? Click the th thumbs up button and subscribe to, to my mom's channel. Yeah. And hit that notification and, and you you can say and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video the girls go back to school in about two weeks and somebody has an eighth birthday coming it's me and then someone else has a 13th birthday coming hi she's no about to be 13. Uh, no one else has an 11th birthday <laughs> she's coming. about to be eight my other one will be 11 in November, so when they get back to school, my plan is to have a lot more DIYs coming your way. I am ready to get making again. And guys, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. What's in there, Cam or Henry? What's, where's the kitty? Henry. What is that? I think it's in here. Where does it go? Where is it, Henry? Oh yeah, look. Do it again. What? Is that it? No, this is a dog. Henry, Henry, you gonna <laughs> choose from the pieces?